But new details tonight on the fire at Syracuse's Crown Plaza Hotel. Our Luke Randall spoke to management there and was the first reporter to explore the damaged floors. Take a listen. Ben and Katie, the Crown Plaza Hotel is likely familiar to anyone who's ever driven into Syracuse. But the 20th floor of this building caught fire on Wednesday night. We have an exclusive look inside. The only guests at Syracuse's Crown Plaza today are the team from Property Restoration Incorporated, which is working to help the building recover from extensive fire and water damage on their top floors. These industrial sized fans are being used to dry out the banquet spaces on the hotel's 20th floor with pristine views of the Syracuse skyline. The hotel's general manager confirming to Citrus TV News that a small fire broke out up here on the 20th floor and that the entire hotel was evacuated Wednesday night. Syracuse firefighters walked up 20 flights of these stairs in order to put out the fire and I'll tell you walking up these stairs myself was not easy and I wasn't carrying 75 to 100 pounds of firefighting equipment. Recovery workers who declined to speak to Citrus TV News on camera told us that the main issue that the hotel faces now as it seeks to reopen is actually restoring the building from the water damage done by the fire response sprinkler systems. One key area of damage being worked on today was the hotel's elevator system. Water from the sprinklers ran into the elevator shaft and corroded the circuitry needed for the elevators to safely operate. Hotel management says that they're working as quickly as they can to get these issues resolved and hope to welcome guests back into the hotel beginning tonight. Reporting from downtown Syracuse, Luke Radel, Citrus TV News.